Hello everyone, it's Rad and uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for <clears throat> February 11th to February 17th, 2019. So I'm going to use the traditional tarot deck and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, reminding you once again guys that that is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Leo star sign. And uh, for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different level with uh, every single different Leos, depending on uh, what situation you're finding yourself in. Uh, that set aside, quick announcement here. Uh, that's uh, for the month of February. The uh, prices of all of my services are significantly reduced, just so I can make uh, my readings more accessible to the people that really need them. And uh, if you until this very mo if you until this moment, um, you couldn't afford, excuse me, uh, a reading with me, you can go to my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. Have a look, and uh, maybe this time around, uh, you are going to find uh, the uh, the pricings acceptable to your budget. So that being said, uh, cutting now the cards and. Uh, the first one, which is uh, regarding to your uh, topic here, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, the topic of your week, followed by the second card, which is going to regard to uh, the negative approach toward the topic, the negative approach toward the situation. The third card, it is uh, regarding the positive approach toward the situation, here developing with the Ace of Pentacles. And the last card, it, it regards to the final outcome, should you follow the guidance here from Tarot. And uh, with this spread, the final outcome, it is always um, a positive card. And it, I mean, it is read positively because it kind of needs to fall with these uh, conditions so you can achieve it. And as you can see here with the Two of Cups, it's going to be quite of a achievement of your behalf. All right. So uh, once again, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Moon card, and the last one that is going to be the uh, Two of Cups. Lovely. All right, so uh, I'm going to leave them now down on my table, uh, just so I don't warp them in the air, because I'm going to draw as well additional cards per every position. And uh, uh, just from the first glance, uh, that is going to be a week where a, a major turnaround is going to happen for you, really, especially, uh, well, basically what that week is, where that week, uh, where that reading is going to manifest for you, it is in this um, field of your life that you are feeling least secure, okay? So at that field that you are feeling least secure and most threatened, that uh, you are going to lose control or you are going to basically uh, fail and so on and so forth. It is where this uh, reading is going to manifest. With the first card here, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. And as Ace of Pentacles is wonderful general card, uh, Leos. It basically gives you the rare opportunity to further your cause, right? Your cause could be a relationship, it could be career, with these cards, I do believe is about more about relationships, okay? But the thing is that with the Ace of Pentacles, as soon as you receive or kind of like stumble upon this rare opportunity to further your cause or your goal, you will start feeling a lot of content. You are going to start feeling a lot of joy. It's kind of like it's going to be like a gift of the universe. It's going to be a gift of wealth, right? And... Uh, Everybody defines wealth in a different way. I mean, those who have a lot of money, wealth isn't money. Wealth could be health, it could be love, you know. So basically what this card gives you is an opportunity to stack up wealth, depending on what wealth means for you. So yeah, like I said, you are going to start experiencing a lot of content here and a lot of joy. And for some of you, even that is going to be a prerequisite to experience glee into your uh, into your environment and regarding that situation in general as well the card uh, tells us that you Leo are going to have flawless harmonious and um, 
I could say balanced flow into your relationships and as well this card promises you success into your business maneuvers and business endeavors it is one of the most positive cards into the uh into tarot the only downside of the ace of pentacles really is that uh, this rare opportunity uh, it is slowly developing okay so it's gonna take time to fully develop it and uh, that could aggravate you at a certain point and uh, the only other negative downside is that you need to recognize that rare opportunity that comes around okay so you gotta have that mindset or kind of like you need to be with a keen mind to spot where that opportunity arises uh, but with the accompanied card here which is uh, the uh, wheel of fortune and uh, we do have passive neutrals uh simply the luck is gonna be on your side for what it seems guys it's kind of like <clears throat> if you miss it once this opportunity is going to come around twice but also the um wheel of fortune here consolidate the busyness that you are going to have the devotion and um <clears throat> the lack of personal time because everything uh is going to be devoured your time is going to be devoured by this, uh, by this opportunity to uh, further your goal and to further your cause. And as I said at the start, this is going to happen in the field that you least expect, in the field that you almost gave up from, okay? So for example, if you gave up from your relationship <clears throat> throughout this week, you are going to have the opportunity to resuscitate it. If you gave up on a certain project throughout this week, something is to happen in this project that will give you the opportunity to further it to develop it to its very very end so uh, going to the next card uh, which is uh, regarding to the negative approach that you can do toward the situation here ace of wands it is what we do have or how you should not approach the situation what we said about the ace of pentacles it is slowly developing opportunity it is slowly developing task and goal ace of wands is completely different it is about fast moves it is about uh, creative chaos as well you know involving yourself into things that you have little clue about experimenting and hoping that if you do mistake you are going to be given a second chance you already have been given a second chance by the um, uh, arising of uh, this looming you know chance to further your goal you are not gonna have a third one that's why you should be rather very calculative with this card uh, experimenting and uh, as well how can i place it uh, acting in mature uh, in, a, in a way that if you do a mistake pff, whatever you know i mean it's it's like this concern lack of concern lack of lack of a sense of, uh, of of responsibility it is how you should not approach the situation very carefully very slowly very meticulously should be your way of how you need to tackle with this um, with this improvement of yours um, also if we relate that to relationships because as I said I believe that this week is more about emotional relationship with either your current boyfriend or a girlfriend or with a husband uh, the last thing that you want to see that you want to incorporate into this opportunity to improve your relationship is to show how less you care because being scattered experimenting and jumping from one thing to another which is associated with the creative chaos only will show to those people that you want to make an impression you want to go with them as far as you can is that you don't care it's simply you know you are there for your personal satisfaction and for your personal passion and uh, the hell with everything else so i don't know how to systemize it really into one sentence but um yeah be more um be more mature it is really the word isn't it when it comes to uh when it comes to really resuscitating a, a thing in your life a, a situation in your life 
the accompanied card here, this is uh, the Five of Pentacles. And uh, what you should not do, additionally, what the shade Five of Pentacles adds into the Ace of Wands, is that you should address uh, the... Um, the difficulties or rather like you, not the difficulties but you should address those kind of uh, enterprises and those kind of uh, mm, actions or like tasks that you are um, that you are developing into your career or into your relationship which are creating um, this balance which are making either your relationship or your career uh, lacking stability this is what you need to address instead of trying to avoid it by jumping from one thing into another as we do have passive and uh, active neutrals excuse me the more you clinch to the uh five of pentacles which is you know addressing those issues for example why your relationship isn't working out okay so you have to address that why isn't working out and as soon as you address it you will know how to take on this opportunity that comes for you to resuscitate it that is just for example instead of <clears throat> trying new ways you know to let's say and throw the person you want to be with without addressing those kind of issues that are making that are making the relationship unstable so the more you clinch to the five of pentacles the less um ace of wands is going to take place which is the things that you should not do throughout the week in order to take full uh, benefits from the uh, manifestation of the ace of pentacles that was as i said the experience of glee contemplation and as well joy from the opportunity to further your goal so going to the next card uh, which is the moon here of the things that you should do throughout the week and uh, really that was covered up already with the five of uh, with the five of pentacles because the moon card refers to fantasies it refers to uh, uh celluloids uh, kind of like mm, uh, celluloid implanted uh, thoughts uh, also refers to vagueness and as well refers to insecurity and instability and so what the card here asks you to do is not to bail out not to deviate from the path that you have chosen to further your goal and to address exactly those kind of fields which are creating insecurity uh, and uh, a vagueness in your life so if you don't know where your relationship is going you simply need to address that if you don't know where career you where your career is going you need to address that and bang that opportunity for your of yours to further your goal it kind of arises it comes around and you can take a um, car like you can basically exhaust it in its full extent and as uh, as i said that will simply make your life much more bearable and this vagueness that we do have here once addressed is not going to be around around very potent for relationships uh, because the moon card may asks you here to address the um, unknown emotions that the person you want to be with or the partner that you are with has for you just to give you an example of that you love someone but you don't know what they what they are having for you and you have to address it how you simply ask all right and as you ask bang that opportunity comes around to further your cause which is to be with this person so most likely this gives yes to the answer of uh, is he love me okay with this card uh, additionally to that it will be important not to freak out right if you are feeling insecure if you are feeling that uh, your actions aren't giving much of a results this is just the negative side of the moon card it is kind of like you cannot see the immediate results of your actions that's why you need to have more clamorous belief that uh, eventually you know your efforts are going to be paid off the additional card to the moon this is going to be uh, the um, hermit and uh, what you are going to uncover uh, as soon as you address those uh, matters which are creating instability in your life 
uh, you will find how substantial that is for your well-being really and uh, also you will realize that instead of being scattered here with the ace of wands and trying frantically to find a crack in order to push through the best way you can do it with a, a very intelligent and wise taking decision by concentrating on what is substantial for yourself so basically out of this insecurity and vagueness you are going to figure out what is substantial for you and how to accomplish it which from another hand is going to make you take on a, a, a very important direction in your life that uh, is going to be a, a direction I could, I could say just for you to walk on and is going to lead you that path that you're going to take over here is going to lead you to a calling of yours. Simply, simply is going to lead you to something that belongs to you. Okay, so uh, it's, it's a very, very potent actions that you are going to uh, incorporate throughout the week, which are going to be a, a which are going to be founded, they are going to be um, based on the prerequisites of this opportunity given to you to further uh, your cause. That's awesome. That's simply. I, um, I seldom has such a, um, a positive readings. Simply, I don't know if I have explained it correctly, but you have the opportunity here, guys, to alter the negative outcome into a, a positive one it's simply this is what these cards are pointing should you play your cards right and should you persevere through patience to uh, basically analyze your options available and as well take the most wise one okay not the most not the fastest one but the wisest one and the last card, which is the uh, final outcome, in case you follow this uh, guidance that we do have here, as we said, that will be the two of uh, cups. And we do have a partnership, either love partnership or business partnership. The general meaning here is a partnership where um, basically you both are going to be even more than friends, really. That, is, that ain't a friendship. Uh, it's it's more like emotional attachment into a, a person and uh, you will have no problems whatsoever to share anything with this guy or with this girl. It's indifferent it, if you are a... Um, it, it will depend uh, what kind of a, a sex you like, all right? Sex like, sex like gender. Uh, if you like, you know, females, then a female comes around. If you like males, then male come around. But the thing here with these cards, guys, is that you that opportunity... Uh, which arises at the start of the week leads you to a, a balanced partnership in which you know uh, there will be no room for wrangles for a uh, um, controversy and as well for fights and so on and so forth it is because it's kind of like you are going to speak with each other on a subconscious level uh in a sense of that when you share with them your pain that will be half the pain if you share with them your happiness this is going to be uh, your happiness is going to be doubled and as we saw at the start that is going to be a week of a huge content joy and glee as well so it's going to be a really exhilarating week and that card could add to the first one which is the ace of wands which is the ace of pentacles excuse me as a state of ecstasy okay so uh, a euphoria I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that word correctly. The downside here is, is that uh, you can delay this partnership by being, uh, by being shy and uh, by, being, uh, by having a lack of initiative. What you need to do here is, uh, as soon as the contact is, is made, you got to reach out as well, okay? So this person that comes around for partnership, they can just traverse the half of the distance, which is, into the, which is on their turf, okay? But you have to reach from the other half of the turf, which is your turf, to kind of make contact, to make connection. If you think that someone is going to chase you, that ain't going to happen. I mean, they will try once and you have to do your part as well. The additional card that we do have, this is going to be uh, the hangman. And the hangman in this particular um, case, if we're talking about love, it says that you are going to find new and the true definition of love. If you think that you loved somebody until this very moment, well, 
you will find out that that was nothing compared to what you are to experience from this partnership. But in a very general sense, uh, this partnership will uh, with this partnership will open your mind and your eyes for much many others different other different perspectives that you can accomplish with this person and uh, with the hangman there uh, it basically points that you are you, that you ain't gonna need anybody else in your life for quite a while maybe for a lifetime who knows so that leo was your uh tarot reading uh which was a, a very very positive one i think that for the previous week we had a, a similar topic so we do have a continuation here in this week and uh i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh once again uh reminding you that the price the prices for my personal readings are severely reduced for the month of february to make myself more accessible to the people that's are kind of finding themselves in a financial difficulty and uh, if until this very moment you found uh, my prices kind of like unbearable for your pro for your budget have a look now and uh, maybe maybe you're gonna find them attractive so that being said this was your a weekly tarot reading february 11th to february 17 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it once again rod signing out now see you around Bye.